The prototype of the next-generation air dominance of the U.S. has been designed and tested, declared by the U.S. Air Force in September 2020. In a similar timeline, Russia's MiG-41 concept was finalized in 2019, and research was completed. Currently, the MiG-41 is progressing into the development phase. Let's draw a comparison between these two sixth-generation fighter jets. The next generation air dominance, or in short, the NGAD, is a United States Air Force sixth generation fighter to replace the F-22 Raptor. Its inception was influenced by DARPA's 2014 air dominance initiative study, and there are expectations that this new fighter aircraft will be operational in the 2030s. Key features include advanced technologies in propulsion, stealth, weaponry. AI-driven design, information processing, and thermal signature control. The program changes traditional Air Force acquisition by the separation of design, production, and support functions in the development process with a $9 billion budget through 2025. Additionally, an NGAD demonstrator that had been under flight testing was made public recently by former Assistant Secretary Roper. F-22s are known to be the supporting program as well. While still highly classified, the Air Force has gradually begun to reveal limited details about NGAD. The NGAD aircraft is expected to reach altitudes ranging from 20,000 meters to 22,000 meters and achieve top speeds of approximately Mach 2.8, matching or even surpassing the F-22's capabilities. While it is not confirmed whether the NGAD is designed for close quarters dogfighting like the F-22, the NGAD might prioritize larger internal fuel storage and enhanced weaponry over extreme maneuverability. Sources suggest that the NGAD's detection difficulty will far surpass that of current fifth-generation fighters, boasting a radar cross-section as small as a BB shot. Its stealthiness is designed to cover a broader range of radar frequencies, rather than just focusing on a few specific bands used by search and track radar systems. Regarding engines, there are two AETP engines: GE Aviation's XA100 and Pratt and Whitney's XA101. Both progressed to the testing phase last fall, and both will undergo durability and other testing over the next two years. These engines aim to meet Air Force targets, including a 25 to 30 percent increase in range and an 18 percent enhancement in acceleration. The AETP engines were meant to generate 45,000 pounds of thrust, and after testing and tweaking, the AETP engines are expected to be ready for production around 2027, just in time to equip the NGAD aircraft. In terms of radar systems, the NGAD might incorporate an AESA radar. Enhancing its stealth by utilizing multiple modules capable of transmitting different radio signals. This approach increases radar versatility and makes it more challenging to jam. The NGAD is also said to feature an infrared search and track system (IRST) to identify adversary stealth aircraft based on their heat emissions. A similar IRST upgrade is planned for the F-22. Which has been observed with streamlined parts on its outer wings. The NGAD's primary armament is likely to include Lockheed Martin's AIM-260A Joint Advanced Tactical Missile (JATM), which is currently under development. Additionally, a classified system known as the Modular Advanced Missile (MAM) is scheduled for kinetic tests from a fighter in 2023, as indicated by Air Force budget documents. Other potential additions to the NGAD arsenals are Raytheon's long-range engagement weapon (LREW) and Boeing's long-range air-to-air missile (LRAAM). Sources indicate that the U.S. Air Force intends to integrate laser systems into future air combat platforms, primarily for safeguarding aircraft against incoming missiles by disabling their seekers through blinding and overheating. The Mikoyan Pak DP, on the other hand, is a Russian project to build a stealth interceptor aircraft heavy fighter to replace the Mikoyan MiG-31 in the Russian Air Force in the mid-2020s or mid-2030s. 
With the project identifier IZD-41, it is commonly referred to as the Mikoyan MiG-41. But an official designation hasn't been granted, as Russian aircraft typically receive designations upon deployment. During a 2017 defense exhibition, the head of the MiG factory said that it will be a brand new plane, where completely new technology for operating in the Arctic sphere would be applied. According to him, the Pak DP would guard the entire border of our homeland before being transferred to the unmanned mission. Beyond acknowledgement of this aircraft's production plans, only limited details were accessible and official specifics regarding its capabilities remained undisclosed. According to reports, it's projected to become operational around the mid-2020s to mid-2030s. Its primary objective as an interceptor was rumored to be countering potential reconnaissance aircraft of the United States. Sources indicate that the PAC-DB concept has been finalized and comprehensive analysis has been concluded. In a July 2020 interview, Ilya Tarasenko, the general director of the MiG Corporation and the head of the Sukhoi Group, indicated that the PAC-DP would be constructed based on the design of the MiG-31. During an interview with the Russian website RIA Novorosti, Tarasenko highlighted that the aircraft will incorporate novel weaponry, advanced stealth technologies, a substantial weapons payload, and will be operational within a considerable intercept radius. Reports from Izvestia indicate that the PAC-DP will feature a versatile long-range interceptor missile system, deploying multiple sub-missiles to enhance the interception potential of hypersonic weaponry. Anti-satellite missiles will also be integrated into the PAC-DP's arsenal. Ilya Tarasenko, Director General of RSK MiG, speculated during an interview with Russia Today that the aircraft would be a newly designed platform potentially capable of achieving speeds between Mach 4 to Mach 4.3, featuring an anti-missile laser, excelling at high altitudes, and possibly extending its capabilities to near space. He hinted at the prospect of future autonomous adaptations, foreseen to cruise at speeds exceeding Mach 3 and operate at elevated altitudes spanning the stratopause and tropopause, the PAC-DP aims to efficiently cover vast expenses of Russia's territory in minimal time. While certain details regarding the onboard capabilities of the MiG-41 remain shrouded, assurances from the Russian design team underscore the presence of other crucial performance attributes. A significant challenge was also posed to ensure the aircraft's exceptional maneuverability. Should all processed according to plan, Russia could potentially possess the world's most advanced interceptor and technologically sophisticated fighter by the 2030s. With anticipation, we await the possible realization of these developments. Your thoughts are welcomed in the comment section below. Don't forget to activate the notification bell for further updates. Thank you for your attention, goodbye and see you soon.